out here at Durham Forest, just north of the greater Toronto area. And today I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. Today I'll be riding a 2020 Specialized Epic Carbon Comp. And what separates it from its competition is it's got some pretty interesting suspension. So back here at the rear suspension, you'll actually notice that the bottom of the shock and the yoke are all one piece. And if that wasn't unique enough, there's actually hydraulics here that go down to the rear axle. And that hydraulic hose actually runs down to this valve system here. And what this system does is when the bike takes a hit, a valve inside here opens and actually opens up the damper at the rear shock. So when you're pedaling, the suspension is locked out. But when you take a hit, the suspension actually compresses. So we got a little bit of voodoo magic on this bike. This is certainly new to me. But I'm going to try and ride this thing fast today. So for comparison, the bike I ride is a 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper with the long travel. And it's super fun. It's a great bike, but for a lot of the trails I ride in Ontario, which is where I'm from, it's a bit overkill. It's still a great bike to ride, but when I push the pedals, I'm certainly losing a little bit of momentum and energy. So I've been looking at different bikes, mostly hardtails, to see what I can get away with out here. So I want to do a ride like this. And the thing is like on this bike, I can actually ride these trails fast and faster is more fun. So I'd like to do that. Whenever I can get to a hill, I'd definitely be on the stump jumper. But it would be nice to have something like this to ride around here. So these types of trails are completely different on a bike that is as efficient as this. I know that on my stumpy, I'd be too tired to talk right now. But I feel pretty good on this thing. So a little more about these trails. They're built by the Durham Mountain Bike Association, or the DMBA for short. And they've managed to build some really flowy single track in here with good technical features that keep everything interesting. It's been a couple of years since I've been here, but I've rode bigger bikes in here as well. And because of all those features, everything stays interesting. But it's always more fun to ride fast. And a smaller bike does better in a place like this. Sweet. Nice. Absolutely gorgeous views in here. Beautiful rolling hills. So one thing I've noticed they've done in here is a lot of short, quick turns into climbs. They've put some rocks intentionally in awkward places and they're building the trails to be challenging. They don't have the terrain naturally. There's a little rock garden there. There's another one. These are all man-made, I assume. Really cool. A lot of work to do this. Not quite used to the way this bike actually handles rock gardens, but it is going. I just need to pick better lines, I guess. That would probably help. Cool. I do like how I can just pick the front end up and move it. Sweet. That was a really cool section of trail on a trail called Granite Planet. Nice. That was fun. So we got a little bit of chunk coming up. Some man-made rock garden followed by a technical up and over here. That's difficult. So the rock garden really wasn't much, but the tight right-hander afterward into a steep rock over is a bit of a crazy man setup. It's set up here because I have no technical skill. Yo, I actually got it. Yeah, some evil trail building madman put that one there because that was difficult. But 
when I stopped to set up there, the bike stiffened up just like a hard tail. And when I went through and over that rock, I could actually feel the bike flex. So the valve system is working as advertised. That is a really cool feature of this bike. But I can kind of do a track stand and just take off like a rocket from a standstill. I would not have got that on a bigger bike. So I just stopped to actually look up what this valve system is called. It's called the Brain 2.0. Is this thing a hard tail or a full suspension? I don't actually know. It's like if you had a lockout switch on your bar, but you don't actually have to control it. It's automatic. Uh, there are settings on the back and I've got it in medium right now. So I guess that just kind of lets the shock open a little more um, liberally than if I had it in stiff. And this seems to be a good setting for me. I can really move up these climbs. Whew. A little jumpy. Jumpy on the Epic. Nice. Wow, I really like this thing on the flow. Like this is just such a flowy section of trail. And this thing eats it up. It loves to go fast. I do have to get used to the smaller tires. I've been riding like a madman since I got the Stumpy. That bike is so forgiving that that's what you're after. This bike likes to be put in the right place. But because of that, it's more fun to ride. It's definitely more engaging. Nice. This thing just goes so fast. Yeah. This trail is called Stubby Reloaded. I have no idea what that means. Let's see how this bike manuals. Uh, not too bad. It's definitely got a short back end, but I'm not used to the position yet. So in the past, I've actually tried to avoid talking about bikes because I've always wanted this to be just about the trails. But talking about using the right tool for the job is important too. It actually helps tell the story of the trail. These builders put a lot of effort into building these trails a certain way and they're meant to be ridden a certain way. But getting back to the right tool for the job, definitely could ride any bike you wanted in here, but the fun factor is higher when you have a bike that can actually push out of these corners on, while going uphill. And I really have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to XZ bikes. Wow, beautiful. I actually have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to XC bikes. This is definitely the longest I've ever ridden one. Back when all I rode was downhill, I used to think these things were pretty nerdy, but nowadays all bikes are just so capable that you can do just about anything on any bike. And some things just do other things better than others. This one definitely pedals better than others. So I'm just finishing up here at Durham. Final thoughts on the Epic. I'm always gonna wanna have a bigger bike that inspires me to hit big jumps, but this bike actually inspires me to get out and pedal. The way it handles technical uphills actually makes exercise fun. So that's something that's really gonna be valuable to a lot of people. I think it would definitely be valuable to me. But this is a bit different than a normal ride that I would do, but this is a bit of a training day for next week where I'm gonna be out hitting some really big climbs out in some big mountains. So until then, ride the trails.